Welcome back to Zoom TV. Now I'm here with another V8 supercar racing freak, Dean Fiore. How are you, sir? Good, thanks, mate. So now, mate, I'll call you freak because anyone that gets in these boats is a freak. Yeah, that's what I thought when I first went for a ride, mate. They're incredible. Now, you've been brought down here as of some of the other V8 supercar drivers to enjoy a day out in the uh, in the what the jet boats. How have you found it? Uh, unbelievable. Honestly, the first when I went for a ride, I just could not believe how they corner, you know. It's just and it's so different to what we're used to. On throttle to corner, off throttle sort of a little bit when you're coming in between the corners. So it's totally different to what we're used to. Now, it's fair to presume that the guys that race these, I mean, one's going through as we're talking right now, they don't have the brain capacity that you V8s have. <laughs> Either that or they don't have any reason to live. That's the way I look at it. That's what I thought when we first left the start line there. It's incredible. Now, as we see this one drive off, you're going to be absolutely blown away. But what were you thinking when you got to this point? Oh, this, this, the actual takeoff doesn't worry. You're telling me that that doesn't worry you? Freak, that's all I'm going to say. Now, talking about things that don't worry you, you're a V8 supercar driver. You compete in one of the most grueling sports there are. I don't think people understand that to actually drive those cars around and around a track, that wears your body out. That's why you're so, look at you, ripped. <laughs> you're ripped. Yeah, you've got to be pretty fit. We train uh, every day, so whether it's cardio or, or weight training, I'm not that big, but you've got to be pretty strong and you've got to have um, endurance uh, about that because the race is so long, you know. So. Okay. Now, there's a couple of things that I'd like to know that people always write in and ask when I get a V8 supercar driver. How did you get involved? I uh, started in karting. The old man bought myself and my two brothers, uh, Todd and Paul, a go-kart each, and it just all went from there. Went from karting, Formula Ford, to Porsche, and then into V8 supercars. Okay. Now, I think that some people could associate V8 supercar drives to a bus driver. All you do is you just sit down there and you just pick people up and you drive around. It's not that easy, is it? There's no. a lot of intense training behind the scenes. Yeah, definitely. I mean, we wear cool suits and uh, we've got helmet fans and stuff like that just to try and keep the temperatures down. But that's one of the things that kill us is the temperatures. Going to places like Clipsal and Darwin, it's over 60 degrees cabin temp and you're in there for an hour and a half to two hours. Um, and it's all the G-forces on your body, and plus you've got to focus for that long as well. So it is hard work. Okay. Now, a couple of things I need to ask you. The Sander Fast Five, the first car you ever owned? Uh, VL Commodore. There you go, cool. Mm, now, uh, the car you currently drive? Holden SV6 wagon. You have to say that, don't you? Wagon. Wagon, the pressure's on for the family? Mm, exactly. <laughs> What's your impression of the worst car ever made? The oversized esky looking things. What are they? The Nissan Micra? Now, this is an unbiased question. Don't right. worry about your sponsors with okay. this. I want you to put the blinkers on. Coffee. What is your favourite car? Um, if you could own a car, if you had any budget at all or you could get it from anywhere, wow. what car would you want to drive? Bugatti Veyron. Good answer. Yeah. Good answer. The final last question is what is your biggest fear? Um, biggest fear is losing a family member. Yeah, well, actually, actually, I haven't had that answer before. That's a fair question. Mm. Fair answer to a question. Mm. Well done, mate. It shows that you're a family man. Thank Good you. luck with everything in the V8s, and I hope you finish right up there at the end of the year. Thanks very much.